Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Andrew here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install cannon fodder on the Archimedes. Um, I've been asked by a few people um, how this is done and if I could do a demonstration of it so I thought I'll have a go. Now bear in mind um, for those that don't know that I'm actually partially sighted so if it looks as though I'm really grappling with the mouse it's because I'm trying to record this video at the same time as staring inanely at the screen and other things. I'm recording this with Arculator on Windows 7 using Total Recorder and I'm actually having to botch this quite a bit when I'm recording this because um, for some reason um, when I actually go and insert a disc into, to into Arculator um, the, re the video recording stops so I'm going to have to pause this halfway through and just um, install the third disc. So basically using an Acorn Archimedes with RISC OS 3 um, in the 90s when you got a game in most cases, or any other piece of software for that matter, in most cases it didn't actually come with an installer. You could run the game off the discs um, if you didn't have a hard drive or you wanted to, you didn't have enough space to install the game, or you could install the game onto your hard drive. Now, in order to install the game, you in most cases just copied the game across um, where you wanted it and put the files in the relevant places. Now, Cannon Fodder was released in 1993 and as it was quite a big game, it's on three discs and is fairly typical of the installation procedure for most of these games released around the same time. So I'm actually going to click now on the drive zero where I've got my disc one of Cannon Fodder in. Now there are some files here, there are the there are some readme files, there's the actual game itself, there's um, um, a slowdown utility. Um, there's the HD instructions and there's the README. So if I double click on the edit and the um, edit file, whether it is actually a plain text file, I'll get the HD instructions and I'll just maximize the window for you. And basically here it's telling you that you install the game by copying it to the hard disk, then opening up the application folder, which I'll explain about in a minute, and then copying the rest of the files in from the following disks. So if I get rid of edit for you and I'll just close that program so that it's not taking up space. Um, I'll start the process off. So I'm going to first of all go onto my hard disk 4, which is my main hard disk. I've got a couple of um, hard disks. Go into my games folder. I'm going to create a new directory called Canon. And I'm going to go into the Canon folder. Get rid of that. Okay, so basically I'm going to start the first step which is to copy the Canon folder into this directory. I am now doing that. So as the files are copying, um, I don't want to copy any of this other, other stuff into the directory, so I'm now going to close this window. Now if I was to double click on this file now, it would probably, it would start the game, but it would actually give me an error because I don't want it, all, all the files are not there. Now this here is an actual directory. It looks like an application and it is an application, but actually it's a directory. Now what distinguishes it from the fact that it's an application or a directory is the fact that here you've got this exclamation mark or what it used to be called in the back in the day the pling symbol or in some places it's called the bang symbol, but in Archimedes terminology it's called the pling symbol. Now, that means that it's an application and if I double click on it, it's going to open up. And the way that it does that is if I hold down the shift key and double click on this application, it will actually open up the files that are contained within the application. And one of the files that it is there is the run file, which is actually a script, um, which is an obey script, which is called the obey script, um, which will actually tell the computer what to do when you double click on this file. Now. I can show you that in more detail if necessary, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to load disk um, 2 in and I'm going to copy disk 2 into this folder. And all the files will copy in and basically we'll have disk 2. Okay, so I'm now going to do the same with disk 3, but because of the issue I have with um, Arculator and um, Total Recorder, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back and and we shall have disc 3 in. Okay guys, we're back with disc 3 
and I'm going to just copy disk 3 in to here and we're getting all the files from disk 3 pretty much in here now. So basically what we've got is we've got all the files from disk 1, disk 2 and disk 3 now in Canon fodder directory on our hard disk and I'm going to just show you that now and as you can see we've got some more the files have expanded you've got more more files there so basically what you'd normally do is this directory is you go into the hard disk on your computer find the games folder of which I have several on here already I'm going to Canon I haven't sorted it yet these folders it probably needs to go into a subfolder you can put this anywhere okay it doesn't matter where it goes I can copy it to any folder now it doesn't matter okay double click on it and Canon fodder will stow to load I'm now getting the music from it the title music the uh, singing woman who I can't stand actually um, and there we go we have Canon fodder so we're back. Um, I had to actually come out of the whole thing again because the um, I couldn't quit the program easily so I had to actually come out of it and um, I was hoping you'd get the music and sound effects from it but um, due to the way that I'm using a headset for this recording so you can hear what I'm saying um, the sound is coming through the headset and Total Recorder isn't picking it up which wasn't very helpful. Okay so basically um, I don't like Canon Fodder at all, I must admit, I don't like the game. Um, so I don't want it on my hard disk taking up valuable resources on my computer. So what I want to do is uninstall it. Uh, just, before I, just before I do that, actually, I just want to show you that um, in these um, directories, like disk 2, for example, um, because it's showing as a directory symbol and not an application symbol, it's not got the pling in front of it. If I double click on it, it's just a directory and it's got yet more files in which, you know, are the game files <clears throat> required by the game. Now, as I said, I don't like Canon fodder at all. Uh, so I don't want it on my system. I want to get rid of it. All I need to do is delete the directory. Now, one thing actually, what I should mention here is that I've turned off some of the options in risk os which will the confirm options um so if you don't like if you don't want to confirm every action that you do you can turn off the confirm options um in the actual menu system here i can't remember where they are now it seems a, oh options there we go and basically if you can see there i've unticked the confirm option just if you if you press your um left hand mouse button on that one basically then it will turn it back on again. For those that don't know, by the way, I'm not sure how many people know about the mouse buttons on RiskOS machines, but um, you need a three button mouse, um, which most people have now because they have a wheel mouse. So um, the button on the left is the left button. The wheel button is your menu button. So if you do that, you'll get your menu. Um, and the right button is the adjust button, which is used for other functions in RiskOS, to be honest don't use it that much. Basically that is how you install or uninstall a game or any other application in Risk OS. Some programs did come with installers, um, some programs like Impression Publisher and other programs that did a lot of things, installed fonts and other system files in various directories. Um, but in most cases you know that was how you installed programs and sometimes you had to install extra disks in other folders inside the actual application. I remember Zool coming out and with that one you just copied the files into the sort of the main directory if you like so where we put the Canon file um, there would just be some extra files there with other disks you know sort of disk 2 and disk 3 or whatever they wouldn't actually be in the application directory um, other disks would be other games would be different. So basically that's it I um, hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it informative. Um, please leave comments. I'd be really interested to hear what people think, uh, whether it was useful, whether it was a load of rubbish. And uh, yeah, just leave a comment, basically. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.